And from calling the grandkids to telehealth appointments, California ranks high in a new study on tech-savvy seniors. New at 11, KCAL News reporter Joy Benedict tells us how California seniors are staying plugged in to the latest technology. Learning never ends in life, as these seniors at the Pasadena Senior Center are proving as they take on French. But a lesson coming in a little slower for some involves technology. On certain things, I feel like I'm, I'm tech savvy. On other things, I, I go, Gary, help me. <laughs> Gary and Judy Gale are inching closer to octogenarian status. I'm probably better using the phone than he is, but he's better using the computer than I am. Because it's really her phone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you don't even have a phone? That's right. No, I don't. But he says he will soon. Leo Andre. Because this great grandfather feels like he's missing out. It's the only way we get to hear from our grandchildren. According to a new study, California ranks high when it comes to having tech savvy seniors. The pandemic absolutely accelerated that, you know, more and more people were helping their loved ones, you know, get you know, get online, get smartphones, like teaching them. Arthur Brettschneider is the CEO of Seniorly, a website helping families find senior living communities. It conducted the study. How did California rank? California did really good, so rank number two in the report. The report analyzed everything from owning a computer, owning a smartphone, buying online, even using telehealth, something Californians do frequently. 52% of folks 60 uh, plus years and older were using telehealth services. As for who ranked the best, it was Washington, D.C., where 36% of seniors work remotely. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Predominantly, the people that live in Washington, D.C., are not retired people. Sue Wright volunteers at the Senior Center and spends a lot of time helping her peers navigate the World Wide Web. I manage my entire life electronically. I just, I don't do paper. When I'm abroad, I can pay my bills, look at my bank account, catch a bus in a different city. Things seniors in some other states aren't doing. West Virginia ranked the worst, as almost 18% of seniors there don't own a computer. And in Mississippi, 28% of its seniors don't own an internet subscription. The ability for them to still connect with one another, with family, um, is huge. Which is why many senior centers offer classes on how to use a smartphone or computer. And families like the Gales keep pushing to make sure that the ones who led the way aren't now left behind. Joy Benedict, KCAL News.